Hello, I am Daryl Howerton, and welcome to Women's Sports Cards, episode number 11. This one is titled, Serena Williams Rules This World. Today, we're going to talk about this iconic 1999 Sports Illustrator for Kids rookie card of Serena Williams. To me, this is the our uh, 1952 Topps Mickey Mantle card. Just like the baseball card has ruled the hobby market for the past five decades now and has a half century long dynasty on on the market the same is true for this 22 year old card that is just now in january 2021 to the present day establishing itself as the goat of women's sports cards i don't mean to detract from the legendary sale of mia ham's 1992 sports illustrated for kids rookie card that sold for thirty four thousand four hundred and forty dollars at golden auctions uh, three weeks ago. I mean, this card right here deserves its its queen of the women's sports card market just as well. I mean, Princess Mia, Princess Mia Ham, the queen, if you if you may, you know, that really did set the market straight. But one thing that you have to notice is that whenever a Mia Ham card sells for a record price, soon thereafter a Serena Williams card doubles it. So I anticipate that happening, and it could be happening any day now. Granted, this card is more rare. There is only one PSA 10 n on the known market right now. PSA 10 has only, PSA has only gra graded 110 out there. There are 39s, there's a lot of 9s, but there is only 110 in the known world. As opposed to the Serena Williams card, there are 8 10s out there. It's also very rare, but not as rare as the Mia Hamm card, and there are only 11 9s. So, in a sense, it's harder to get a 9 or 10 for a Serena Williams but the tens, you know, there's only one ham and there's only eight Williams. So these cards are in huge demand for anybody who wants to get the goats collection and has to have it complete because you can't have a complete goats collection without Mia Ham or Serena Williams. And that is what's driving the bidding wars up for these cards. And consequently, all the other goats follow as well. I mean, if this is the 1952 Topps Mickey Mantle, Maybe we can call the Mia Ham card the 1906 Honus Wagner. Who knows? I mean, but to me, these are the two cards that drive the market, and we have to respect it as such. But let me illustrate how, why I say the Serena cards double the Mia Ham cards, and I have to get into some personal testimony to begin that. It was basically about a summer ago, um, in summer 2020, late July. I made up my mind I was going to buy all my favorite 20 female sports athletes. It, they were really cheap. Nobody cared about women's cards. They weren't hardly any graded cards on the market. Even in the midst of NBA, NFL, and Major League Baseball cards going through its greatest frenzy with all the you know stock market up sales of, of, and record-setting sales of baseball cards, basketball cards, football cards, soccer cards, Women's sports cards hadn't done hadn't made a movement yet. I was able to buy 18 of my favorite 20 athletes for less than $10, and these were all raw cards. This Mia Hamm one cost a bit more. It was $30. The Serena Williams uncut card from the magazine I bought for $100. And granted, at the time, I was like, well, who knows? If Michael Jordan's card or Steph Curry or all these other goats can sell for a million dollars, Maybe one day the Serena Williams card can sell for 10% of that, and that would be $100,000. And if I paid $100 for a $100,000 card in the future, <laughs> I would be very happy. So I bought them, put them in a drawer, didn't pay any attention to them until January 2021 when I was curious if they'd gone up in value, looked it up in eBay, and boom, I started seeing record-setting sales, four-figure sales of graded cards of both Ham and Williams. The first one was Mia Hamm's card. The sale date, I have it right here, was January 16th, 2021. A Mia Hamm PSA 9 card, less than six months later, sold for $1,059. One day later, January 17th, the Serena Williams PSA 9 version sold for $2,250, doubling that Mia Hamm card. <clears throat> that same day, a PSA 10 of the Serena Williams card sold for $10,000. And that's been the last time we've seen a PSA 10 of Serena sell. The other seven owners haven't sold their card this year, and it was only that eighth owner who sold it for $10,000 that gives us any record of a PSA 10 sale of Serena Williams. That basically established the benchmark 
with the, with the women's sports card market its first five figure sale. And after that, everybody else went loose. We saw a Alex Morgan, one of one, go for $16,000. We saw a next generation star like Naomi Osaka go for five figures. We also saw Sabrina Ionescu cards go for five figures. But basically, it was those two cards that started the market. And when we saw those other ones break the $1,000 or $10,000 mark, it was probably closer to April, May, June. But in February, we still saw the Mia and Serena cards dictating the market. We saw in February 17th, the PSA 9 version of Mia Ham sell for close to $3,000, $29.88 to be exact, uh, establishing a new mark. And then right after that, for uh, I should say establishing a new mark for PSA 9s. And then right after that, Serena doubled it again 10 days later with her card selling for $6,850, her PSA 9. So it was back and forth, and you can understand my... Uh, my reasoning when the card of Mia Hamm sold three weeks ago for close to $35,000, why I now value the Serena Williams PSA 10 version card at $70,000 if someone wants to sell it. I'm not the only person who feels that way. Someone else put up, someone who has a Serena Williams card, a PSA 10, put theirs on sale for $50,000. Granted, I think that's a bit low, but nobody's bought it yet, and it's been on the market for a few days now. So to me, other people are seeing the same things that I am, that the Serena Williams card is the GOAT. Not only is it better than uh, the competition out there, but there's been some people who've made noise that the 2003 Net Pro uh, Serena Williams card are her rookie cards, which I disagree. Those to me are league rookie cards, but this is the true rookie card, the 1999 SI for Kids card of Serena Williams. I mean, it was came out four years earlier, it's a nationally validated card. We, we see all these other cards going for thousands of dollars. So SI for Kids nowadays has that respect among card collectors. And then when you also look at, you know, just the scarcity factor, there are only eight PSA tens of this one. If you look at the, if you look at the Net Pro of 2003, there are 20 PSA tens out there. There were a hundred cards that have the that were made of that one. If you're looking at the Glossy Elite is the one I'm talking about. There were 30 that have been graded and 20 of them, believe it or not, got graded PSA 10s. I mean, that's, an that's another story, how 20 out of 30 cards got graded 10s, but that's what they did. I, the PSA 10, PSA used to give out easy 10s to women's sports cards back, you know, before the pandemic, but that's another story and I'll have to get into that later. That's in my humble opinion, I should say. So it wasn't surprising to me July 15th, after the record Mia Ham card, that one of those cards sold for $26,500 as recently as two days ago, July 15th. Those are great cards. Those are iconic cards too. But to me, they aren't the 1999 SI for Kids card, which isn't gonna go for $26,000. I, I think it'll go for at least 50,000 as the person has it on sale right now and will eventually climb up to $70,000 before the year is over. So that being said, I just wanted to get all that out there. Thank you for bearing with me. But what I also believe is that these, like I've been saying all along, ever since the summer of 2020 till January of 2021 to February 2021 to the present date, these two have dictated the market. And now we're going to see the other goats, especially if a Serena Williams card sells in the next week or so, we're going to see the other goats rise, whether it's gymnastics goat Simone Biles, whether it's swimming goat Katie Ledecky, and so on and so on. Not to mention the next generation superstars like Naomi Osaka or even uh, Sabrina Ionescu, who already have great success already, and people think they may become future goats. So anyway, I just want to have you keep all that in mind, you know, why I say the Serena card, I believe it will double. I'm basically going, basically going by, you know, past precedents. You know, so that being said, I think I've said everything I need to say. I think I've established all the statistics and numbers why I say what I say. And I guess in conclusion, all I can say is Serena Williams, she runs this world. She is the GOAT of the WSC, baby. <laughs> I hope you like. I hope you subscribe. Please share. And thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. God bless you.